Hey there, Droya here, and welcome to Subsequent Games Train Simulator. So today, I'm taking control on one of Rivet Games' newest routes, the uh, suburban hey Glasgow there. Northwest. Droya here, and welcome to uh, Subsequent Games Train myself, Simulator. Now, am I? Give me a second. So Whoops. <laughs> so taking control of one of uh, Rivet Games' newest routes, the uh, Glasgow suburban Glasgow Northwest, which is a run from here in Hedensburg Central to Springburn in. Well, Glasgow, so overall, not a bad route. It's about 30 miles from A to B, start to finish, so definitely get a chance to enjoy all of that. Get to also pass through Glasgow Queen Station as well, which is quite a major hub out in the uh, Scottish city. So, uh, yeah, it should be good run this today. And like I say, it's a Rivet Games route, so one of the, uh, the major third party developers now for Train Simulator. And, uh,. Yeah, taking control today in a class 320 EMU. So, we jump into the cab, prepare the train for service, let passengers board. In fact, we don't now, can we? Let's jump into this, shall we? Should be a good one. So, train in forwards. <clears throat> Dose three, that's fine. We'll leave the hard bottom of the open just for the sake of uh, route knowledge. That way, I know what I'm doing. Otherwise, yeah, control of the train it should be nice and simple today. I'm not expecting too much out of the way of uh, issues. So, uh,. Yeah, give it a few seconds, wait for the doors to close, and then we shout the parts. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to the channel, welcome to the chats. There we go, doors are closed. Give me a second. Hmm, that's odd, here we go. Right, let's the parts. So, trains in forward. Brakes released, throttle up. So the class 320, it's um it's an older stock, but not particularly old. It is EMU. It is electric before I forget, so let me show that the lights are set up properly as well. Up speeding as well. Come on, Joria. What not happened yesterday with you in the uh, in the German routes? So, let's depart out of Helensburg Central down to a single rail of line. Well, that will open up for us very shortly, especially with the 40 mile per hour speed limits just up ahead. Right, so we'll leave the small hut open just so I have an idea of where I'm going. And uh, yeah, for the most part, that should be us ready and raving to go. So, waiting for the rear that train to pass the 40 mile per speed limit board. Once that does, speed limit will change. Perfect. My clothes have also got the uh, third row's map just directly to my right. So, you guys can track around the world. I like it. It's good at this. Next station, Craig and Doran. Craig and Doran Junction. I'm not doing too bad, Chris. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. So this line has 43 stations, including the areas of Finneston, uh, Clyde, and well, the entirety of West Glasgow as well. Right, so very shortly, get ready to bring train to a halt. Next station, just up ahead. Give an idea of what the brakes are like. Step one, not too bad. As always, if we hit enter station at around 30 miles per hour, 30 kilometers an hour, whatever country we're riding in, generally it's a good idea of when to, uh, well, good indication when you enter a station, therefore slow down enough for the uh, halt. And yeah, I presume that with some of these stations, given that the line itself, you can tell, it used to be a dual line, you've got the uh, remains of the second platform on the right. You're going to have longer platforms and therefore stopping on this length shouldn't be too much of an issue for us. And the majority of services are priced by three car sets, not six, but I thought we'll go for the uh, the full length today because why not? So, welcome to Craig and Doran Junction. Yeah, so you've got the remains of the, uh, well, what was a former platform. The bridge still exists, now you need to exit the station via the, uh, well, via the car park. 
Also, this will be waterside as well. Look at that map. So there's another railway line. Oh yeah, directly behind the platform as well. So presumably this is for passing freight units. Yeah, once upon a time I went in directly through the city, or by connecting freight lines, it all matches up in there in front of us. So far, so good. Nice level of detail we're getting out of these uh, routes. Right, let's uh, depart, shall we? Next station. Oh, let's find out. So, speed limit stays at 40 for a short period. Once the two lines connect up to one another, so once you pass the uh, junction itself, line speed increases to. I think that's 60, yes. Line speed increases to 60. Oops, not yet though. So, past the points. So that line now splits into a dual line for the majority of the rest of the route. Welcome Basil, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel, welcome to the chats. How are you doing today? Right, it's up to 60, so open the throttle. Let's open up a bit. Maximum speed of the 320 is 75 miles per hour. And now we're at 60. Not quite full speed, but certainly, push, certainly pushing things, certainly stretching the loco's legs a bit. sound of the English countryside. Level crossings. <laughs> Trust me, if you live in the UK, if you've ever driven the countryside, then you'll know that uh, you'll know that the sound of level crossings pretty much dominates the countryside. I have seen your message, but uh, it's not train sim related, so I ignored it. Uh, not doing too bad, Robbers. Rob Robbersil, sorry. Not doing too bad. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chats. Uh, never trains before, follow the channel, fly some streams, getting these trains now, keep them coming. Very good, very good. Hope to do a few more of these trains and streams soon. So like I say, this is a new route out from Rivet Games a couple of days ago, well, about a week ago now. And, uh, yes, yeah, so far so good. I've been, enjoy I've, I've been getting into trains a lot more recently as well. Certainly been uh, enjoying because I've been a, well, I've been a railway volunteer now for about a year. And, uh, well, I never know my future might take me. So, uh... We'll see. See how it all goes. Next station, Cardross. Coming up very shortly. Speed limits. Also, oh, whistle board. <coughs> Sound the whistle. And so, with this route, a lot of uh, the initial portion out of um, Helensburg does take you. Well, takes you via the coastline, takes you via the waterside, so you can see on the right. Let's just go find them in town. There we go. Just to the right. Nothing but water. To the left, got countryside. Right to water. But, uh, yeah, it looks good. It does look really good, this. And Rivet Games, they're a relatively new developer when it comes to train sim, third party stuff. But they have been doing a fantastic job. They've definitely jumped up the ranks. It's been it's been great to see what they've been producing, both on Train Sim World and Train Simulator. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see again. Can't wait to see what they're going to bring out in the future as well. The big Train Sim World one that they're bringing soon is the Erosa line. Well, I can just imagine what the uh, Swiss house will look like in Train Sim World. It's a beautiful sim, and so I can imagine it will just completely blow away our expectation. But, uh, like I say, I've got high hopes for it. Ah, welcome to the game. I live in Helensburg. Very nice. Very nice. Not a place I've heard of before, really, um, before this route, other than the fact that it is out to the uh, west of Glasgow. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. I presume you've been on this line a few times then in the real world. Welcome, Hicks. How are you doing? Y you say that. Microsoft did at one point have their own train sim, Microsoft Train Simulator. Although, that went with the Asus team back when they were canned from uh, Microsoft. But at one stage, Microsoft did have a dedicated train sim team. 
send developers to do the marks for flight simulator. But like I say, time went on. Trains didn't fail. Sorry, flights didn't fail. And with it, trains went with it. Don't actually need to set to six then, so I have six car sets. Right, doors open. It's level crossing to something. Was this a coastal road? Oh, it's like an industrial site like that. So presumably, again, at some point, boats and uh, ships used to operate in and out of that. Right. Doors closing so shortly. Well, country we're in, we are in Scotland today. Very nice, very nice indeed. So, let's carry on, shall we? Um, that's the end of the fourth and Clyde Canal near Bowling. Oh, is it? Okay, very nice. Uh, is this route out of Dalmer Old Um, this is Helensburg to Springburn via Glasgow, Queens. It's part of the uh, Glaswegian suburban network. I catch you my real life. I'm from England. I'm from England myself. So, coastal at 60. I presume 60 is then the uh, main line speed limit. Things won't be up too much from uh, this point on. But by the time we get towards Glasgow itself, centre of the city, I do expect to stop at a few more stations and routes. At some point, I should try and stream the uh, Five Circle Line as well. That's another route that looks fantastic visually. I'm sure that uh, that's a difficult that's a dovetail route off from the River Games route. I'm sure, I have done a fair bit of justice with it. Oops, is that a train? Oh yeah, there you go, three car set, three two zero. Right, next station, Dalryok. Seeing best beyond Sandberg needs to head towards Oban. At some point I do plan to visit this place for real. I mean I've been to well, the only place I've really been to in uh, Scotland is Inverness. Well Inverness down towards uh Feshy Bridge. But um at some point, I do plan to visit both Edinburgh and Glasgow. Look out the two major cities down here. Alright, that's an AWS. That means I'm going to keep an eye on this next signal. There you go. Let's speed it down to 30 shortly. So, well, we're at 50 now. Slow down normally as we go uphill. Apply some braking just outside of the tunnel where things slow down. Again, just the, just the scenery out here. It's fantastic. Very, very nice to put together. Got a little cutting here into the tunnel. A difference between two different UIs on Train Small 2. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Uh, I'm not going to say that name. Two different UIs on Train Small 2. I'm not sure what you mean by that, I'm afraid. <clears throat> Welcome Aviation Gamer, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel, welcome to the chats. Let's slow down now to 30. So we enter Dalryok, and very shortly after that, enter uh, Dumbarton. Uh, gonna get an A350 experience, nice see video. Um, A3, well, there's no A350 yet for Microsoft Flight Sim, so that won't be coming anytime soon. As for an ICE experience, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I do plan to do a few more train sim streams and mix it up a little bit on my channel. But, uh, so 
comes down to really what and how we're going to plan everything. <clears throat> that door's open. So beautiful up here. So what we got up here? We got the uh, river or canal. I believe that. Well, it looks like a river to me. Uh, whoops, should not have done that. Yeah, so should not have done that. Okay, that's fine then. River, rears, cheers. Right. So wait for supplies. Wait for the guards to give two buzzers. Let's get going. Oops. Nope. Carry on. Right. <clears throat> Whoops. Straight away. Dumbarton. Almost forgot about that. Very close uh, distance between two stations. And then straight out of Dumbarton, we've got Dumbarton East. Although it's been, it does increase to 30 between the two. And out of East, back up to 60. <laughs> Given that we went up to about, what, 50 miles per hour between the two, probably the uh, fastest between two stops ever. <laughs> Again, come on, Joria. Well, to be fair, not my fault. I was looking at the uh, external views without the UI. Again, former platform to the left there. Oh, my other platform's in place. You're going to get this a lot of UK railway stations, especially out towards the more rural places such as Scotland. They've got abandoned platforms and abandoned train lines because a lot of, well, a lot of the railway network was actually removed back in the 1960s as part of the uh, beaching cuts. The, 1960 and the second one 1963 so uh, a lot of railways were decimating the UK but a lot of that also comes down to the fact that there were very little used railways and while there are a few potential mistakes in there where more people actually used the railways than they thought a lot of railways were removed a lot of railways decimated a lot of stations closed a lot of platforms dug up so the one that I can say well the one that I can think of closest to London lost by the beaching carts was probably Harrow Millstone the uh, line up to Stanmore. George's train drivers in Belgium. Interesting. Uh, annoying how trains makes you pay for every train. I mean, the fact is, with a train, it's like a flight sim. You have to pay for every airplane you get or look for the freewares. At the end of the day, simulation is not so much about owning every route and every train because unless you have like 50 terabytes of hard drive space to install it, or it's not going to happen. But uh, okay, got another random platform just there. Uh, unless you've got the size to hold it all, there's a lot that you're never going to own, you're never going to use. I've got there's a few fruits on this chain that I've got which I'm probably never going to use. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Oops. So down to 40 now. Next station at Dumbarton East. Now your favourite is great cross cross country Great Western. I quite like um South East and I like. I would like a uh, HS1. In fact I've got a little model HS1 train on my shelf there. Um I quite like the railways out in Finland. The Finnish railways are very nice, very good to uh ride on. With the wide gauge trains and double decker carriages. It's a lot of fun, the Finnish network. Uh does England have ghost trains at ES? Yes they do. Not as many of these days as they used to have, but I guess well, the closest one to London, that'll be the... Uh, it used to be South Rice Lip to Paddington. I believe it's now West Rice Lip to uh, West Ealing, because they cut the line between Paddington and the Chilton main lines. Uh, will I do a setup tour? Probably not. At least not here, because it's a bit of a mess. So probably not. Right, so, Aston Barton East. 
So I've got a little bit of stretch before uh, closing on to our next station. Here's a little idea of the uh, route map network. So we'll be ending at stop. Uh, yeah, Springburn. I presume this is the line that goes via Glasgow East. Glasgow, sorry, Glasgow Queens. Right, brakes release. Let's get going. I need to be up to 60 now, so chance to again stretch train's legs a bit. Not doing too bad, Etel. Not doing too bad at all. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. Uh, is there flight simulator? No, this is train simulator. So, going down the uh, Dunbuck upline. Speed Wardrews down to 55 very shortly. Uh, yeah, Glasgow Queen Streets, yes. I'm not sure. Glasgow, I presume Glasgow West is a real station, just uh, not on here. And to be fair, London is a city that has 14 terminus train stations. You've got Paddington, Euston, Marylebone, King's Cross, St Pancras, Cannon Streets, Liverpool Streets, um, Blackfriars Bridge, Moorgates, um, you've got... Uh, that's nine, there's five more. Get that train. What are the other five? It's going to annoy me now. You've got London Bridge, Charing Cross, Waterloo. There's two more. Um, I've said Marylebone. What are the other two London terminuses that are now on top of my head? I don't think Waterloo East counts because that's not a terminus. A three station. Victoria. Victoria. And the final one is. Oh. Come on, Dre. There's one more terminus. One more terminus. Which one have I not said? Stratford? Is that a terminus? Stratford? Maybe? Possibly? Uh, Glug's nearly 200 station. One of the best served outside London. Yes, I can imagine that. Given the uh, central location of Glasgow, you're going to have the railway lines that basically connects everywhere to everywhere. So, although 200 stations, that is a lot. Stratford, Stratford, yes, it is. Cheers. See, I know my terminuses. <laughs> Next station, bowling. How do I see? I mean, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It looks, it looks pretty. This the units three two zero. It's a lot of fun. This. So that's enjoying it more. I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would actually. I mean, it's not a railway line that I've been on in the UK in real life, but well, now that I've done it in train sim, I'm going to do it in real life at some point. It's like uh, a lot of German routes. Play them in train sim worlds. At some point, I'm going to come off in real world. I've done the ICE three now. Yeah, we're going to overshoot the station. I think. I've done the ICE 3 now, I've also done the uh, doppel stock as well. Yeah, that was a bad break in that. Um, at some point, I plan to go to Munich to uh, ride in real life. Right, so I'll wait for the doors to close. There we go. Let's get going. The stream's working, is it? I don't know, we are, we're still live. The stream, I mean... OBS is showing zero drops of frames. We haven't lost anything. I presume something just went a bit amiss there. But no, we're still alive. We still seem to be doing alright. I hope. Fingers crossed. Worst case scenario, refresh the page and... Uh, we should be back. Yeah, OBS showing a green connection, about eight, about 9,000 kilobits per second. 
Yeah, this morning I tried to do a Microsoft Flight Sim stream, although uh, my PC completely froze and my system decided that it didn't want to do anything anymore, so... My guess, my memory clock's a little bit too high. I might just reduce the overclock ever so slightly, see if I can try and uh, bring things back. Yeah, Niels, just tell everyone to refresh the page in chat in case they don't have the stream back, just to make sure that everyone can uh, carry on again. Next station, Kilpatrick. Um, the route, if I'm completely honest with you, I'm not entirely sure how much this one costs, but uh, I don't think it's too expensive. I mean, again, it's a terrific games route rather than dovetail routes. And so, um, yeah, I'll tell you about that. Oh, let me double check the price for you in a second. In fact, I've got the page right here. This one costs, yes, yeah, $24.99. Train simulator, Springburn, Glasgow, Northwest, Springburn to Helensburg, route add on. $24.99 available on Steam. And also the uh, DuckTales store if you want to buy stuff from that. Alright, let's head in now for Kilpatrick. Try not to uh, overshoot station too much this time. Uh, GP upgrade is on the way. I'm about 450 in the queue of getting one. So it's speeding up a bit now. The uh, delivery is at 3080, which is always good to see. It is speeding up a little bit. So fingers crossed, it won't be too long till it gets it. Man, this, this, this whole route is just so pretty, it really is. I'm going to stop here, I'll have a quick look at the external cameras a bit to see what the route's looking like around here. Just got that little road down below in the cutout. Let's have a look. Yeah, so let's look right down here, cutouts. You've got the uh, pathway leading from the station. Road right leading up to the other platform. Down here, you're up here, you've got a motorway bridge, or at least an A road bridge crossing over. And you've also got this scenery, just, there you go, scenery built down all the way to the uh, riverside. It is just fantastic what uh, Rift Games have put together. It's a very, very pretty route, this. Right, let's get going. Uh, Stratford is on Jubilee line. Yes, yes it is. 30 euros, 24.99 pounds. Thank you very much. Uh, remember that. Place you're staying. We need to lean it by the Sebastian. Very nice. So, very shortly, entering Dalmer. Speed drops down to 40, and picks up very shortly again for 50, 60 even. So it's downhill, down several tunnels. Was this space of a freeway route as well? I did not know that. So I, I know River Games, well, River Games are the publisher for this one. I did not know it came out of a base freeware route. That's interesting, that. I might look into that. I might even see what freeware is still out there. I might compare the two. So, signals tell me that I'm going to take the left hand track now. So, I presume it all splits up now. We'll slow down for that. I mean, we're, we're about. We're about. 200 yards now from the station anyway, it's not too far to go. It uh, was three words about a few months ago. Interesting, okay. Uh, got upgraded by Rivet, adding Dovetail Game Stock, and now it's Payware. Interesting. So what were the uh, rolling stock like before the upgrade then? Were they decent or... How are they comparatively? Uh, has the 321 put a DLC been revamped? Um, well, we're on the 320 today, but uh, it's something to have a look at once we get to the end of this.
Yeah, finally we've trained some miles, they've gone over taken these displays in the fact they've actually made them work. Uh freeware route is available mod, how it contains it contains more track than the payware. Hmm, okay. Uh don't think include stock, you have to own stock. Right, okay. So kind of like a so it's like a, a route train bundle pack with less track, interesting. So yeah, here's our route map, we're taking the, uh, yeah, we're crossing over, heading down the south branch now. Uh, try and cross Glasgow, Queen Street, yeah, we do pass through Queen Street. By the, uh, underground tunnels rather than the, uh, overground. Next station, Clydebank. Someone has scenery out here, so we've got a nice old bridge over here. But again, presumably, oh yeah, definitely an old railway bridge. At some point, uh, remove entry to the uh, works here, just behind us. We'll start slowing down now for Clyde Bank. And so, a lot of West uh, Glasgow, a lot of this area was at one point, um, well, freight and industrial. With a lot of industry now moving towards the uh, well, Central Asian countries, a lot less industry now in the UK. You still got a few industries over here, but a lot of them have relocated to the uh, Asian countries. For example, China. China, pretty much the industrial king of the world. You got coal as well. Coal is a major industry in the UK, especially Scotland. That got relocated to uh, where did coal get relocated? I think it was the Middle East, which then also got replaced by oil over time. But uh, well. If if you want to rise up a, a row in this part of the country, you only have to muster the words Margaret Thatcher to uh, really open a few, raise a few eyebrows. Yeah, the nineteen the nineteen eighties, early nineties was uh, was an interesting time for the UK to say the least. I mean, back then, technically, the UK started an empire. The British Empire officially ended on the thirty first of December. 1997, when Hong Kong was returned back to mainland China, well, the 20 years of uh, independence I had between that, that's when the British Empire officially ended. Because um, at the end of the day, Hong Kong, while under British rule, was never specifically owned by the British, it was leased land, so the UK paid rents to China basically to uh, own that portion. Uh, over the years, that very much changed. Yeah, so Clyde Bank was mainly uh, shipbuilding over here. Next station, Yoka. Uh, where else was Titanic then constructed? I believe Titanic was Glasgow, was it? May have been this part anyway. Uh, what do you think of Cats of Canada? I like him. I like him. Cats of Canada. He does good streams. The way he controls his uh, viewers, or he interacts with them, it is good. I do like Cats in Canada. He's uh, very fun to watch. Gosh, all the uh, smoking memes for years. I believe he's now, well, he's now on vapes at the very least. I remember, for example, when he flew the uh, Tolis A319, they gave him like, some special livery, the cockpit, they stuck an in op sticker on top of the uh, no smoking sign, which was quite interesting. Well, quite funny, actually. And uh, yeah, it was interesting that. He's good. He's good. I like him. 
very fun to watch, very fun to uh, talk in this Discord server, although my user, my Discord name on this, uh, was it Belfast was it, my apologies, yeah. No, you are right, it was Belfast, why did I say, uh, no, which ship was it then, interesting, uh, which ship then was it built in, uh, built in Glasgow, because no, you are right, Belfast was Titanic. There's another ship I'm thinking of. Another ship I'm thinking of. Queen Mary, that's it. They did the Queen Mary, not the Titanic. And Queen Elizabeth II, there we go. So passing now by via Yoka Depot. Next station, Gars Cadden. And then Scotstone Hill. I think you're a little bit behind, Jordan. Mission was a few minutes ago. Right, so very surely get ready to slow down. So at this point, we are now slowly getting closer and closer towards the uh, oh, Belfast, sorry, Glasgow city centre. I'm not going to have Belfast stuck in my head for the rest of the stream. <laughs> uh, I do read Twitch chats, uh, Twitch chats, Rory. It's just nobody's talking on there at the moment. And again, I'm going to open the station now because I'm reading chats. Whoops, Daisy. <laughs> Yeah, if we may look from this angle, it doesn't look too far off, right? <laughs> uh, no reason, Niels. You take care. Have a good one. So, wait for the doors to close, wait for the guard buzzer, and then we depart. Yes, uh, so yeah, Scott Railroad is operated by Abellio. Abellio also run the uh, East Anglia services, Greater Anglia. So that's the Stansted Express and services to Norwich. It's all about flights from the VWDO. It's very annoying. Very annoying. Uh, two new aircraft has built on the other side of Scotland in Forth and Royce. Uh, so yeah, some shipbuilding exists, but not yeah, not the same level, and certainly not as much as they used to be. A lot of the ships now they're built out in um towards the central Central American countries. They do a lot of shipbuilding these days. For example, Panama. Panama, I believe, is was well, certainly ship registry of the world. I think they do a bit of a fair bit of shipbuilding out there as well. Do you think we'll get a tram train route in train We already got one. The uh, Frankfurt U-Bahn is a tram, well, it's a mixed tram light rail service. And one of my uh, favourites here on train sim. Yeah, so we're slowly now moving down the southern portion of this track. Is that us there? I believe, so. nope, no it's not, centre player. Oh yes, it is, sorry. Uh, yeah, Scott Stonehill. Right, let's get going. Train expert life. I don't think I'm an... Oh, I'm not so much an expert at trains. I've got basic knowledge, but trust me, compared to a lot of people, I do know uh, very little comparatively. Oh yeah, the graphics in this route does look fantastic. Also, very smooth as well. The FPS, very stable at the moment. Hindland coming up next. Yeah. 
Inland Jordan Hill. So in reality, a service like this probably wouldn't stop at every single station on this line. But uh, for the sake of the stream, we might as well. Especially out here now, where platform stations do get a bit more close together and therefore do have a few more stops to make now. Speed shortly down to 40 again. Watch line to the left. How far does that one go? Ah, uh, she does connect to the northern line, doesn't it? Yeah, so now towards the middle portion of this uh, split. Where are we going? We're travelling to Springburn today. Springburn in Glasgow. Nope, I don't only do flight sims, hence the fact I'm doing a train sim right now, as you see. Atomex. No, I do enjoy my train sims. I mean, it's a bit more relaxed compared to a flight sim. Well, a flight sim at cruise is very relaxing, but with a train sim, it's a bit different, because especially with a stopping service, you've got to do a lot more in regards to acceleration and slowdown, but less in the uh, calculation of heading and altitude, because trust me, if we were turning on our own or not at ground level, I would have a, a few concerns regarding what our train's doing at the moment. But, uh, yeah, so far, so good. Next station, Hindland. Hindland, sorry, Hindland. Another 327s to our right, six car sets. Welcome Games FC, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel, welcome to chat, how are you doing? I'm ignoring you, Anish, because we're playing train sim today, not flight sim. Right. There you go. Hindland, I liked it, for Guards Naval Hospitals. I'm not doing too bad. So far, so good. It's now a Saturday, back on the weekend. And uh, interesting, yeah, the next couple of weeks will play out as well. Right, let's get going. Yeah, City are having a abysmal season so far. To be fair, a lot of teams that played in Europe played the extra cups and all that. They've still got no energy left because there was only a two week break between the end of last season and the start of this season. It's been a there's no break. No gap. So players who played longer last season are more exhausted and therefore not performing as well this season. You look at Aston Villa, where did they come from? They're at one point top of the table, they beat Liverpool 7-2. It'll be an interesting season this year. No team's going to be in the place anyone expects them to be. This point, at some point, a former well, former station relocated now to the other side of the bridge. 
I love seeing abandoned platforms. I don't know why. Whenever I see them, like whenever I look like on Google Maps, I see an abandoned station. Whenever I look at uh, on a train, see a abandoned platform. I always have to look at the history of the station. Like where was it? Which lines operated on it? What was it like? If it's got an old photo, love to see old photos. Abandoned platforms, I adore. Yes, yes I do. Chelsea supports myself. Uh, how are trains going to fly sim? With train sim, it's easier to get going, but requires a lot more like concentration calculation in regards to when you start slowing down, when you need to start braking. So uh, it's easier to operate, but more difficult to run. Right, now the parting partic. Uh, right now, passing via Finneystone West. Following the line around to the right now. And now on the outskirts of the main city of uh, Glasgow itself. There goes so now Riverside Museum Tail Ship, which puts us in, uh, well, Finneystone. Also, oh, only about five miles now to our terminus, five miles to Springburn. It's not too long to go now either. Yep, we are driving through Glasgow today. Next station, Charing Cross. The Glaswegian Charing Cross, not the uh, London Charing Cross. Or any other Charing Cross that every single city in the UK seems to now have. <laughs> Charing Cross, I'm sure it has like a historic uh, meaning. So Charing Cross, rather than place names, like, it's like uh, you look at London, you've got Aldgates, uh, hang on, you've got Aldgates, Moorgates. You've got all these gates, and historically, they were the gates to the city of London. Back when the Romans were in the uh, city, they were all gates, and so I'm sure they've got some historical uh, meaning behind it. A train captain? I presume you mean train driver, ain't it? A train driver in the UK earns about... It, it, de it depends where in the country you're driving. Somewhere more rural, you may get 45000 a year. Somewhere like London, you get maybe about... 60, 70,000 a year. But it really depends on the train operator, the routes you're doing, and the types of train you're doing as well. So a high speed operator, I presume has a higher salary than a normal operator. The underground starts off at uh, something like 45,000 a year. But again, it all depends on who and where you operate. Right, during our first underground station on this line. Oh, we're breaking already, looking a bit off at the moment. Mm, yeah, we should be alright. Should be alright on this occasion. Looks like the lights are active. There's your tail lights. Whoops, okay, if I go to free cam maybe. There's our uh, headlights. Whoops. Yeah, these tunnel stations, or the camera in the sim, doesn't quite like these tunnel stations, or underground stations. You've got a cutting over here. So this has been back from the day of steam. Yeah, these cuttings which let all steam out of the uh, stations. But, uh, again, just the scenery, even this underground bit we don't normally see, does look really good. Whoops. 
Uh, next station off this is Glasgow, Queens. Glasgow, Queens. To them, what do you think train headlights for? Train headlights are only for spotting, not for uh, not for seeing things. The problem well, with a train. If you travel at, uh, well, you're trying to get 60 miles per hour, by the time you hit brakes, it takes you a mile to stop. And so, lights, if they shot a mile ahead of you, then one, you won't see it because of all the twists and turns, and two, they'd be super bright, super blinding. Train lights are used for spotting reasons. Like that train over there? No, it's just a white signal, but at the end of the day, you have daytime lights, you have nighttime lights. And they're used to uh, give train drivers like an idea of what trains are. Oh, that is a train. So you can see that was a single light, dim light on the right. And therefore, that same that is a daytime train traveling to wherever. But light, white lights used for spotting, not so much for uh, actual seeing things. So next station is Glasgow Queen Street. Following that, High Street. This tunnel would have been built with cuts and cover originally, so dig a massive trench, build the train tracks, and then close it with a tunnel on top. This would have been a cut and cover back in the day. Nice and slowly. I mean, the benefit of Queen Street is the platforms here are actually longer than the uh, train length, and therefore stopping not too difficult. Other stations, the platform's been cut back. Very precise is where you need to stop. So let's have a look at the surface, shall we? So again, you've got a small cutting of where steams could uh, exit tunnels. Up here, you've got the main Queen Street terminus. But we're not stopping here, we're going to pass on a bit further. But all of this is also built in through as well. If we go to the map, you can see we're in the lower level. High level trains do take you out to, uh, well, takes by Springburn. If we're to continue the entirety of the loop. But we're not going to go that far. We're going to stop at Springburn today. Right, doors close. Next station, High Streets. Can keep a little bit of power in right now, just keep train rolling. We are travelling on a slight uphill gradient and therefore just keep train rolling. Shoot this one slightly because my braking today is terrible. Uh, once the station is empty, not a few passengers about. Get up to the surface. The roads are empty right now, but then again, because of COVID, nobody's out at the moment. All shops are closed, apart from perhaps uh, exclusive takeaway. But uh, yeah, for the most part, it seems alright. Again, I'd like to see uh, a hardware store, exclusive takeaway, charity, pizza restaurant, Brassaia, City Wines, Hardwire, and then yeah, the same shops. Oh, you've got a few more, though. You've got Homework and Sporting. And I know that's just trains. For their routes that have some of these kind of buildings, then uh, they've got their own set of shops as well.
you do need to remember that this sim was original. Well, originally it was Railworks 2, which came out in 2008. So it's the same old sim, but with constant upgrades and uh, back and improvements. If you look at Train Sim World, that was a new platform that came out a few years ago. It certainly has a bit more going for it as well. But two different sims, two different uh, ideologies. And also about a decade apart between the releases as well. Oh, my Xbox controller, my Xbox controller vibrating the entire time. With Train Simulator, it does have forced feedback and everything, which is quite interesting. And so if you're playing on the controller, you do would get all of the uh, vibrations around as well. It's a bit of fun, that. Something that you don't really think of too much, but it does change the way you play the game. Uh, does Train Driver go through Sim practically... Yes, a train driver would be trained on a simulator before being uh, given freedom of the rails. Because also, it's good, it's, good, it's good for route knowledge. It's good to actually give drivers what a feel the train is like before they drive the real thing. So yes, train sims do get used. For example, if you look at Jeff Marshall's videos, he did a video on the uh, Lund on the Elizabeth Line, the crossrail simulator. Welcome Daz, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel, welcome to the chats. How are you doing today? So, now the passing from Belgrove. Line speed up to 60 again. Next station, Duke Street. See on the right, got a few, uh, well, a few factories. Presumably, that'll be well, it's either cement or agriculture. Looking at the silos. There we go. Plan trains in more than Xbox is pretty cool. Uh, so let's say train. So train simulator is like the predecessor to train sim world. Train sim world is a successor, and gives well it improves a lot in terms of graphics, in terms of physics, in terms of all that kind of stuff. Train simulator is the older platform, but as a result, has a lot more route variety on it. So uh, both their pros. Okay, yeah, it's definitely going to be cement, isn't it? So both of their pros, both are very good simulators to drive, and uh, well. I put both of them really equally in terms of what they do. Uh, do I go through Dalmer? No, not not that I can remember, I'm afraid. Next station, Alexandra Parade. Uh, can you actually change the lane where it's going? Or is it made to which? Uh, so, I mean, most signals in the UK especially are automatic. But there are some sidings out there, like for example out here, you can switch the points. And you can see where the brown line is, that's changing the track. So you do get some re uh, freedom as to where you're driving, but it really depends on the routes and the uh, track, if it's automatic points or manual points, hand lever.
through to zero. So they're, well, they're I think they're, they're a they're a third generation EMU if I'm correct. First generation stuff was the lower 300s. Second generation was stuff like the 313, which has the like bulky nose with the door integrated in. And then this is like a, a third generation EMU in the UK. Fourth generation is stuff like the uh, three, sorry, the uh, 377, so the Electra Stars. We're now coming on to the uh, fourth generation stuff. Next station, Barnhill. Off a little bit of speed there, and then put a little bit of throttle in as it's quite a steep hill. So I'll definitely see a bit of track this now. So, next station, Barn Hill, and then finally, Springburn, where this train terminates. I was supposed to put easy on that stream. Why'd I be flying with there? Welcome, RB Jared. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chats. Nice and slow entry into the station. Sound of the AWS again. Next in is yellow. And then very shortly we'll be setting a or taking a set of points that brings us over to the Springburn terminus platforms rather than the uh, through platforms. that sound? Well, there's a few reasons that, well, a few places that sound could come from. Again, very industrial here. So, yeah, next station, short hop away, and we terminate. Oops, going downhill now, we're going backwards. Right, let's get going. So speed get down to 25, drops to 15 as soon as we enter the uh, siding. Got another train back line that uh, integrates with us, that's heading via steps. And yes, this is a different game to Train Sim Worlds uh, 2020. This is Train Simulator. 2021. So it's a different platform, same developer, different platform. What's that lighting's a bit brighter, is it? Pretty adjusting slightly. Still getting there, the uh, face cam. This is still all, uh, all new stuff for me. I mean, I had a face cam before, but I'm trying a bit of a different method. Try and get something a bit smoother with the sim. Hopefully, it wasn't the reason that uh, flight's been crashing me this morning. But, uh,. It's so all we'll trial and error at the end of the day. All we'll trial and error. Whoops, why'd that happen? Okay, I'm not sure why the emergency brake trips that. We haven't reached the end yet, because I've still got to bring trains to the end of the platform. That, that well, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure why I trips there, but uh, well, if this didn't pop up, I'd have then taken train to the end of the platform, and we'd have slowly uh, 
crawl our way to the end of it. I'm not sure, maybe I've... Tr oh, maybe five mile per hour. Perhaps I'd go a bit fast there, but... No, I think you're right there, actually. Went about five miles per hour, and therefore it does trick the magic brake. Okay, fair enough. That doesn't make sense. So, um, well, I guess that's really it. So that was a run on the all-new Suburban Glasgow Northwest Springburn to Helensburg. Yeah, stop at zero on that destination because we need to stop for shorter platform. Uh, we applied penalty brake. Well, brakes applied six times, speeding 21 times. Mm, we moved once the doors open. <laughs> what can you say? 26 miles, 42 kilometers in the 320. Took us an hour and seven minutes. So, um, yeah, I think that really brings us to the end of that now. So, at some point, we'll do a few more runs of these uh, routes. We'll do a few more uh, scenarios. We'll do a few more routes as well, because we've got a fair bit on Train Simulator these days. And, uh, yeah, so it's something to, uh, something to enjoy as time goes on in the future. So, yeah, that brings us to the end. So, thank you very much for watching. You guys take your hairy selves. We'll do some more Microsoft Flight Sim later today. And see how it all goes from there. Thank you very much for watching. You take care of yourselves. And I shall see you later. Take care. Goodbye.